Angle of elevation, angle of depression. Angle of elevation. An angle of elevation is a vertical angle having one side horizontal and the other side in ascending line. Here's our triangle. Here's our horizontal side. This is our ascending line. And here's the angle of elevation. We know this is an ascending line because here's our angle of elevation. And if we started here, we would be rising. Angle of depression. An angle of depression is a vertical angle having one side horizontal and the other a descending line. Once again, here's our triangle, our horizontal side, our descending line. So this is the angle of depression. If I'm coming from the angle, I'm going down. That would be the descending line. From the top of a ship's mast, which was 80 feet above the water, the angle of depression of another ship's hull was found to be 20 degrees. What is its distance? Here's our triangle. We're 80 feet above the water line, and here's our angle of depression. And of course, we're looking for the distance between the two ships. We're going to use the tangent. 70 comes from the idea that here's my 20 degrees. This makes a right angle, which means it has to be 90 degrees total. So this has to be 70 degrees. And then I solve for x, which gives us 219.8 feet. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower, whose height is known to be 143 feet, was found to be 35 degrees. What was its distance? What I did is I filled in what we knew. We're looking for the distance. Once again, we're going to use the tangent. When we solve for the distance x, we figure out that it's approximately 204.2 feet. I would like you to try this. Pause, find the solution, and then play to check your answer. Here's our triangle. I labeled everything we knew and what we're looking for. Sometimes it's easiest to take the picture out and just look at the triangle. Once again, we're going to use the tangent. It turns out the distance is approximately 209.8 feet. Please try this one on your own. Pause, find the solution, and then check your answer. Here's our triangle, and I filled in everything we knew. When I solved for x, I get approximately 110 feet. But remember, we want the height of the entire beanstalk, so I need to add the 5 feet for the person. This turns out to be 115 feet. Thank you.